actually, speaking of spending money on things you don't need, I was actually going um, thrift shopping the other weekend. I... Shit, where did I put those? Give me one sec. I'm going to see if I can find them. Um, I bought some... I'll tell you one the other cool thing I bought. I'll see if I can find the 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 not the not weeb trash thing that I bought. Um Did I put them somewhere and then forget where I put them? That would be really dumb, wouldn't it? If you bought something from a thrift shop and then you forget where you put it. And it's just hidden around your house somewhere. Hmm. Where did I put them? Is it over here? We good. I I didn't lose the things that I bought. <laughs> so there is a shop in uh in Australia called Savers. So Savers, unlike a lot of thrift shops, they're sort of more in line with like the Salvation Army and like charity shops, uh, where they don't know how much anything they own is worth, and they just sell it because people donate it to them, and they just you know want to sell want to sell things at a not at a loss, at at enough to cover their operating costs, basically. And I picked up something actually really cool. So this is... I um, actually got two sets of these. These were $2 for each set. This is a set of... Um, let's see if you can focus on it. This is a set of, like, Australian-themed coasters. And honestly, I think they look... They, they look really cool. Um, this set is just a set of different hotels around Australia. So that first one was the Empire Hotel in Kurikuri, uh, New South Wales. The second one was the Commercial Hotel in Braidwood, New South Wales. I guess... Oh, I was going to say this one's folks around New South Wales, but no, this one is the Imperial Hotel in Ravenswood, Queensland. Then we have the Drover's Arms Hotel in Gornong, Victoria. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the Malden Hotel in, surprisingly, Malden, Victoria. Uh, this one, which was not part of the set, but they just left it in there. I'm, I think someone stole this from a pub. And this one, which was clearly very well loved. Uh, the Albion Hotel in Grenfell, New South Wales. So this set was, as I said, um... $2 for all of those coasters, and I feel like it's a pretty good score, to be honest. Um, as for the second set, this was also $2. This one was more of a, a focus on, like, Australian scenes. And I can't read it, because it's all written in really annoying cursive. Um, and my cursive is not very good. Anyway, uh, here is the first one. I know this is probably not great content for the audio guys. Check out the video section for this section because these actually are like really cool. Um, this one is down on his luck. Actually could read that one. Then we have this is the Drover. I think it's I think that's what it says. As you can see, like, there is there is obviously some damage to them. They're like they're probably very well loved, and um, they sort of just donated them because they didn't need them anymore. This one is... I I have no idea what it says. Um, but it looks real cool. And then this is Winter Evening. And you know what? For $4 for all of that, I feel like that was a, um, that was a pretty good score. And actually kind of was fun going down doing some thrift shopping, just getting out and doing something that's not the same thing I always do. Like, every single weekend is usually just me staying home, playing video games, or doing something else like that. But I wanted to go outside, and I, I wanted to go outside, first, full stop, I wanted to go outside. I wanted to go out and actually do something different for once, and actually enjoy the world. And that was one of the things I thought of, and that's what I decided to do. But that was just at Savers. Now... I didn't just go to Savers. Savers were just where I started because I knew that Savers had a lot of... Um, they're good for books and for random shit like this and for cutlery and general house stuff. Also, 
I got my the other. Bef I think it was a couple weeks earlier. Um, I got my MSI hat also from Savers. So like you know, they already got this good score for five bucks. I gotta go back there again and see what else I can uh see what else I can score there. But I decided to go after that from Savers over to uh over to Cash Converters, better known as Cashies. Cashies is basically Cashies is a pawn shop. Cashies is a pawn shop. It's it's a place you go because you have rent to pay and you gotta sell some jewelry or you gotta sell your console, things like that. And they're there to make money. So obviously you're not gonna get crazy deals. Back in like um the early 2000s, they didn't know what they had. So they were selling, you know, really rare shit and really expensive shit for fuck all money because that was based on like what they thought it was worth and what it was sold to them at. But since then, like they've learned, you know, like NS, uh, NES games, for example, you can sell for hundreds of dollars and people will buy it. Um, but... <laughs> At some of the stores I went to, it seems like there is a bunch of weebs who are offloading some uh, some anime figures. So, I'll show you one of them that I got. Now, this should not have been at the price that I paid for it. Because this thing has been out of production for a long time. And... In the second-hand market, um, it should, it's a bit closer to, like, 70 or $80. Uh, maybe a bit close, maybe about 100 This is uh, one of the Nendoroids from the original season of Love Live. Um, for reference, so this is Nendoroid 500. Uh, my Nekopara Nendoroids are at, like, the 1300 or 1238 12, for Vanilla... Oh, sorry, 1238 for Chocola and 1248 for Vanilla. So, like, there's been a lot more Nendoroids since then. And it wasn't just those figures. There was a lot of others. There was a, um, there was a, a, what was it? It was a K-On figure. Like, one of the original K-On figures. There were a couple of figures in there that were in, like, the two or $300 range. They knew were two or $300. So... I'm going, like, I'm not going to go every week, because that's dumb. Like, you're not going to have new shit show up then. But I might go just... It, look, it, it's fun to just browse stuff, even if you don't buy anything, and go down there, like, I don't know, once once every month or so, and maybe bring some, uh, bring some people along and just find some crazy shit there. 